Hello and welcome to Cars at 100. And on today's review, I have a very nice Toyota Highlander. This is a fully loaded vehicle, so you're gonna see this car in its full, full uh, spec uh, version. And uh, we're gonna check out, as usual, the car from the outside, from the inside, and um, let's go ahead. As you can see, this uh, XLE version of a vehicle comes with different wheels than the base version of a car. And the, the design stays the same as the one that I reviewed recently. But uh, what's interesting about this car is that you have a very nice and very durable off-road SUV that has three rows for the passengers and has a very nice trunk in the back as well with all-wheel drive of course but this car is uh, very good and very popular as well as uh, you might know this competes with uh, Infiniti QX60 that I reviewed recently as well uh, but this car is something that is um, also very popular among the people here in New York Brooklyn area and uh, this car is a very nice combination between reliability and sportiness as well I would say so overall it's a very nice car in terms of uh, how this car looks as well it's a sharp vehicle it's not a boring design uh, I would say and uh, it's far from it in terms of the dimensions it's really nice uh, for the front driver and passenger and the back as well um, there's a plenty of space but overall the design looks very nice on the outside as well you have a LED lights in the back and LED front lights as well but um, in terms of the design of the wheels as well I would say maybe a little bit bigger wheel uh, would be a nicer uh, option here uh, but overall this is a 245 60 R18 inch tires uh, I mean wheels and uh, overall you have very nice design here for the fog lights as well integrated very nice grill up front and you have a very nice lights in terms of the design as well I like how this design goes into the headlight um, really cool and uh, the car comes with the adaptive cruise control as well as you can see uh, with the flush uh, Toyota logo up front so in order to enter this Toyota you have a very nice key fob here there is no actual key it is inside here uh, you can take it out for emergency or if it it's really needed uh, you still have a physical key but overall this key fob you can just keep it in your pocket to open and lock the vehicle and you can do it from the key fob as well as you can see here lock unlock automatic trunk release hold to open it and hold for panic and you have a very nice Toyota logo in the back as well here but overall you can just keep this key fob in your pocket like I said and you can lock the vehicle also by this grooved edge here and you can unlock it by the sensor behind the door opener handle and you will enter the vehicle as you can see here this premium materials here very nice leather on the handrest here and very nice trim here as well soft touch materials very nice door opener automatic up and down for the front windows for this car you have very nice buttons here everything feels somewhat premium a little bit on the cheap side but uh, very nice overall very durable feel for this SUV very nice bottle holder here overall nice pockets this is hard plastic material and uh, as you can see here very nice entrance into this car with this almond interior color for this car you have a very nice leather here very good seats very good quality for the stitching as well not a lot of things going on here in terms of the piping and perforation this is just a very nice leather and very nice durable feel to it you have very good bolstering top and bottom very nice adjustability for the automatic seat options here as well as you can see very nice floor mats that come 
as an option for this car overall very nice design as well high off the ground just like SUV should be so as you can see here this car is something that I already reviewed uh, but this XLE version of a vehicle adds a little bit more to already nice vehicle that you can check out the review that I already did. Overall, this XLE version of a car comes with many different options, including this very nice infotainment here uh, that includes more options and uh, has overall better feel in terms of the dashboard and um, feel of the uh, leather. You have heated seats here also in the middle uh, in this console you have a very nice modes here snow and uh, heel climb uh, heel assist as well uh, you have a diff lock as well center differential lock on this car being a proper off-road vehicle and uh, traction control off button here as well you also have a very nice storage here the everything else is just like the car that I reviewed and overall you have a very nice uh, options in terms of the dashboard and uh, overall you have a very nice uh, speedo and tag here so if we start the vehicle as you can see you have a very nice graphic there a very good uh, bold numbers uh, to have a very nice visibility at night you have a blue ring that goes so, and surrounds this uh, speedo and tech very nice kind of a design as well goes with the blue uh, color of the infotainment uh, options and theme uh, kind of everything is um, uh, you know synchronized in terms of the coloring as well very nice clock up top overall really good you have this very nice storage here in the middle as you can see here pretty deep as well you have a 12 volt power outlet here below and uh, I would say it's really nice the, the biggest difference is that you're gonna get um, for this car compared to the base vehicle is uh, as you can see on the window sticker optional equipment so optional equipment that this car comes with is gonna be well worth it and um, the final assembly point is gonna be Princeton Indiana built in USA and as you can see 22 mile per gallon combined with 20 in the city 26 on the highway and $43,000 122 basically is the price for this car in this review and as you can see color outside is blizzard pearl so it's a pearl color and inside is almond in terms of the back seats as you can see same premium feature materials captain chairs in the back here you have very nice pass through in the middle to access the third row which I'm gonna show you in a little bit you have very nice options here to adjust the seats and uh, I would say very nice feeling in the back here as well you have a climate control options in the back here as this being a fully loaded vehicle you have a very nice outlet options here below as you can see and you have two options to charge your devices in the back here we also have curtains here which we can just put like this have a little bit more privacy very nice feature or you can just fold it away like it was never here very nice feature overall you have very nice options here that you can adjust in terms of the having the cup holders here you can just take this out like this and you have the cup holders here very nice design I would say when you don't need this pass through here you can just fold it away like this but overall I would say in terms of the legroom and headroom here I would say a very good legroom and very good headroom as well I would say one of the best uh, headrooms in, in terms of the big SUVs in, 
in its class um, and I'm six feet tall you have a sunroof here as well you have very nice options for the vents here on top as you can see the third row seats are right now folded down but we can raise them up and overall very nice trunk space here and let's check it out so in order to access the trunk you have a button under the Toyota logo right next to the camera rear rear camera and it's automatic as you can see you have a very nice material here all weather material to store your things and if you spill something here I think it will hold somewhat uh, but you have this space here I guess when you put the seats up like that it won't be in a way you can also adjust it a little bit better here but overall having the third row seats in this car is very usable and very nice you have somewhat nice trunk space here you're gonna have even more trunk space if you fold these seats down you can also fold these seats down as well you can have a bigger trunk space it is somewhat raised but you still have a lot of space here as you can see spare tire is under the car today's review of this 2019 Toyota Highlander XLE if you have any questions about this car please leave a comment and I'll see you next time stay loving cars